show that is dedicated to image, brand, and business culture. I'm Nida Bittman Neville, your host. I'm CEO of TNB Consulting Group and serve as an image and brand doctor. And as a doctor, I listen to my clients. Everything from their frustration, the obstacles that they're faced with, their goals, objectives, their vision, their mission, what they want for their company, or what they want for themselves personally and professionally. And then I analyze those findings and prescribe, if you will, some strategies. And those strategies can range anywhere from the marketing strategies, communication strategies, coaching, uh, training. Everything that we do enhances image and brand. Now today, our topic on the Magnolia is frustration. I don't know about you, but I'm sure all of us get very frustrated over a host of different things uh, during our daily lives. For the past two days, I have had fr frustration from a technical perspective. Now, for those of you who know me personally, know that I am technically challenged. And I have been trying to download a particular song and a commercial from the internet to include in a keynote address that I'm delivering in a couple of months. Well, I paid my 99 cents for the song. I found the perfect song and downloaded it. I cannot find it. I cannot find it anywhere on my laptop. I have searched high and low. And day before yesterday, I got so frustrated that I thought I was going to pull my hair out. I snapped at my husband. I snapped at my dog, things that I never do. But I was just ready to almost take the laptop and myself and just jump out the window of my office. It was very frustrating. But I had to go to a meeting, had to have dinner, so I said, I'll have to fuss with it tomorrow. Well, that was yesterday. Yesterday I had an hour between appointments, and I said, I'll spend about 20 or 30 minutes. Maybe my mind is fresh, I'm not frustrated now, and I'm sure I can locate these two items. Mm -mm, still can't find them. So I, again, became very frustrated. As I was running this morning, it dawned on me that there is a solution. I don't have to get frustrated. I don't have to snap. I don't have to get a headache or anything. What I plan to do is to take my laptop across the street from my office uh, to a place that uh, helps individuals such as myself with their technology problems. And I bet you with a touch of one or two buttons, they find the song and they find that commercial. And I'll be thrilled. Frustrations will be gone. So this morning again as I was running, I thought this is a perfect topic for the Magnolia. Because when we get frustrated, we find ourselves it being anti-productive. We say and do things that we probably wish that we did not do, such as my snapping at my husband and my dog, um, and getting a headache. Um, and it's just totally anti-productive. So what we need to do is literally step back. And we can't say if we're frustrated with something other than the internet, which really doesn't communicate back and forth with you. Well, maybe it does. Uh, but in this sense, when we maybe are frustrated with an employee, uh, your own teenager, traffic, um, hot weather, uh, your clients, whatever it might be, just step back and take the responsibility that you know it is up to you to be able to figure out a way to communicate more effectively to lessen the frustration and to achieve whatever that goal is and making that um, a win-win situation for everybody involved. And just as I did when I realized that, wait a minute, there is an option and it will lessen my frustration, it will help me to get over this little obstacle that I'm uh, facing and move along and finish this keynote address. So I want to just share that tip because when you stay frustrated and you say and do things that you wish you hadn't, that does impact our overall image and, uh, and not very positively. So we want to make sure that we, that we curb that. Now I also have to tell you the, the other thing that was really frustrating uh, in sort of a comical way is yesterday afternoon in that 20 or 30 minutes that I was hunting for this song, all of a sudden on my radio in my office, the song is being played. Now, this is not a current song. This is a very old song. Isn't that ironic? 
that it would be played at the exact time that I'm trying to find the song. I really felt like somebody was taking that screwdriver and just pushing it right in my side and just turning it a little bit. I mean, the audacity uh, that the radio would actually do that to me. But as we know, that is a simple joke. But, and the name of the song, Ain't No Mountain High Enough by Diana Ross. Now again, isn't that type kind of ironic? Uh, that uh, ain't no mountain high enough, and if we think about it, there really isn't, that we can always, somehow, some way, climb that mountain. Now, one last thing before I let you go is on June 30th, for those of you who are in the greater Central Florida marketplace, going to have a fabulous event on June 30th from 6.30 to 8.30 um, in Winter Park, Florida, and uh, it is going to be with, Sh with Chef Isabella and myself. The title of the event uh, in that evening is called The Art of Pasta and Image. And Chef Isabella and I are going to fuse, if you will, our talents and the wonderful ingredients that she uses to make a fabulous dinner and what I use to enhance our overall personal image and brand. It is going to be a wonderful evening, so if you're interested in finding out more details, simply go to themagnolia.tv and let me know that you're interested in signing on for uh, the art of pasta and image. So again, remember frustration can be dealt with and that you will really feel good after you have overcome that frustration and found out a desirable method, if you will, or approach to be able to handle it successfully. You've been listening and watching The Magnolia, the show that is dedicated to image, brand, and business culture. Brought to you with a new show each and every Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. And please plan to join us every week. I'm Nida Bittman-Neville, your host.